So, as you know, Apple have pushed out version 10 of iOS to its devices. And once it did that, I did a video whereby I installed iOS 10 and also downloaded and installed Airshow to do a fresh screen recording test and everything seemed fine as you can see. However, once I uploaded a video, I got a few comments about people experiencing black screens. So I've decided to investigate and I think I may have found something. When I completed my first screen recording, I copied the file over to my computer to edit. What I didn't do is test the playback on my iOS device. And when I did that, as you can see, nothing happens. The timeline moves forward and you can hear the soundtrack, but nothing actually plays on the video. So is this what you're experiencing, that black screen effect? Let me know in the comments below. So as a test, I decided to do a second screen recording where I turned Smooth Seeking on. And if you've watched my previous videos, you will know that when you record it with Smooth Seeking turned on, it lowers the frame rate. So it's probably easier to handle for the iOS device to play back. And lo and behold, when I did that recording, it played back, albeit with the lower frame rate. So it may be that if you want to do playback on your iOS 10 device, you'll have to use Smooth Seeking for now. And just to confirm there is a problem when Smooth Seeking is turned off on your Airshow recordings, I did a third recording to see what happened, and lo and behold, once again, the playback wasn't available to me, it was just a grey screen. Not a black screen, but is it the same issue? Do let me know. In conversation with a developer of Airshow, he tells me that Apple have updated the video encode mode in iOS 10, so it's going to need fixing in Airshow and it will be done soon. As he suggests, if you have this issue, your video should be fine, you just need to transfer them over to a computer, or you can try my tactic of using Smooth at Seeking. So that looks to be the current one small problem with upgrading to iOS 10, you might lose your playback ability. So if you don't want to upgrade, here's your warning. As I say, I'm not sure if this grey screen I'm experiencing is the same as the black screens you are, so you may want to post that in the comments below. And also take into account if you have an older device and you're upgrading to iOS 10, then you have to expect that you're going to hit more and more problems as your device moves further away from the latest software version in terms of what it can handle. That's it for now, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more iOS screen recording content and I'll see you again soon. Enjoy the rest of your tech day, bye for now.